<laughs> Sorry. His name is Mr. Ed Johnson. He just so happens to be the oldest black man in Bradley County. I'm February 3rd. He says, Ed Johnson said he wanted President Barack Obama to know he will turn 100, and it's proud of his accomplishments made by African Americans, which he's seen over the past century. Called the oldest living African American male in Bradley County, Johnson had already received the Living Legend Award by the NAACP when he and his daughter, Alice Turner, later discovered his birth certificate revealed the centenarian was born February 3rd, 1910, instead of February 1, 1909. Johnson said he has seen many changes over 10 decades. With his health and memory not quite what it used to be, the stately senior reflected on his own life as a farm boy, born and raised in Eureka, outside of Charleston. Quote, I was the oldest of 19 children, said Johnson. We had a big farm. We raised hogs and chickens, ducks, cattle, goats. We had everything we needed. We grew wheat, had big corns, corn fields, had peach orchards. Johnson said people in need didn't have to try to steal because his father would give them what they needed, setting an example in generosity. Johnson said, I still remember some things. I remember women would get those sacks of flour, sew them up and make underclothes out of them. They washed clothes with soap and hot water. They hung them on a fence, and it would take about six weeks before the clothes got dry. It was some different time in those days. Mama cooked possums and rabbits. Johnson left the farm when he turned 18 to work a job making $7 a week. He had several jobs over the years, including yard work on a Coe Street, waiting tables at the American Legion, and working at the Brown Foundry where he retired in 1974. When asked how it feels to be 100 years old, Johnson said he feels blessed for his health, but admitted it comes and goes. Quote, sometimes I feel rough. I believe it was around 1987 when I broke my leg and stayed in a nursing home for three months. I still have trouble with that leg, but I can still walk. Johnson, the father of nine children, a host of grandchildren, great-grandchildren, and great-great-grandchildren. Amen? <laughs> Said his family is too numerous for him to keep count, but considers it a blessing to have lived long enough to see so many generations from his family line. Alice Turner said she and her siblings enjoy taking their father out to eat where he enjoys seeing friends and meeting the public. Quote, Dad is a real people person, says Alice. He loves to be around people, and he loves going to Golden Corral and Ryan's. Okay. He takes turn, we take turns taking him out. The secret to longevity, according to Mr. Johnson, is praying to the Lord, helping others, doing what Jesus Christ said in the Bible, and working as long as possible. Johnson, a member of my church, St. James Cumberland Presbyterian Church in America, said he tried to do good by others, became saved, and is at peace with the Lord. Let's give the Lord a clap of praise.
Thank you.